In 1863, German immigrant Lucas Glockner built 97 Orchard Street, a tenement building on the Lower East Side that would house over 7,000 immigrants from 20 countries until 1935. Today, 97 Orchard Street is better known as the Lower East Side Tenement Museum, where it hosts over 170,000 visitors per year who come to hear the many fascinating stories of all of the families who lived inside. What's significant about this building is that it's the only building in New York City that hasn't been touched since 1900 the inside at least. This building, the stairwell and the whole stair case is completely wood and that's what makes it not fireproof and that's why the building was shut. In 1935, the landlord at the time closed the building up, he moved all the tenants out and it remained closed and shut up until 1988 when the founder of the museum found the building, realized what a jewel this was and decided to turn it into a museum. I think people quite often, when they think about going to a historic house museum, which we technically fall into that category, um, I think they're used to seeing lavish houses. I mean, I know when I go to a historic house, I'm thinking I'm going to see the Vanderbilt Mansion or, you know, the Newport Mansions. You know, you, that's what they expect. What they don't expect is to see the kind of humble living conditions that they find here. So what we've done is we've done the research, we figured out who actually lived in this building between 1863 when it was built in 1935, and upstairs we've recreated some of those apartments. In the mid-1800s, most of the immigrants that came into New York City were German immigrants. In fact, this neighborhood was called Klein Deutschland, which means Little Germany in German. Natalie Dumpertz leaves her home in Prussia, comes across the ocean into New York City. And when she gets here, she has to figure out where she's going. So it stands to reason she'd go where the Germans are. She comes to a neighborhood called Klein Deutschland. Today it's called the Lower East Side, the neighborhood we're standing in where she could have had her food in German, met a man in German, drank her beer in German, which she could all do almost in this building, right? She started her life in the midst of Klein Deutschland. She met a man named Julius Gumpertz, who was a heel cutter, also from Prussia, and they started their life together here. We know they were living here by 1870. We use historical records like city census records and deeds and things like that, manifests from ships, all that to figure out how they got here. Um, but what we've done subsequently is we've traced their descendants, we've talked to those descendants, we've taken the oral histories, and that's how we figured out what their lives were like when they lived in this building. This is the home of the Baldizzi family, and they were a family who immigrated from uh, Palermo, Sicily, in Italy. And this apartment is recreated to the year 1935, and they were one of the last families to live in this uh, building. This is the home of Rosaria and Adolfo Baldizzi, and there are two kids, Johnny and Josephine, who were both born in this country. When the museum was interested in recreating the home of the Baldizzi family, we were really lucky because a woman who actually lived in this apartment as a child, Josephine Baldizzi, got in touch with the museum and gave us a lot of information that we then used to recreate her family home. One interesting thing that we learned from Josephine is that this um, kitchen cabinet that we found in the building was actually built by her father. He was a trained carpenter and um, he, during the Great Depression, he traveled, um, he walked around the streets of the Lower East Side with his toolbox and you can think of him kind of as a day laborer of that time. But the market for, you know, kind of wandering the streets with your toolbox is very low in the middle of the Great Depression, as you might imagine. So what is he going to do? He's out of a job a lot. And the family has to rely on programs like the programs Franklin Delano Roosevelt created called Home Relief. So just one story I want to share with you about that is uh, what the family got from Home Relief. Something that families still get today is food. Basically it was food and clothes and money for rent that the Baldizzi's relied on to make it through the Great Depression. One thing that Josephine Baldizzi remembers getting a lot of is this. 
It's a cheese box for Breakstone cheese made here in New York, government issued cheese. And she remembers getting so much of this, in fact, that her mother planted flowers, planted these morning glories that you can see in the window out of these cheese boxes as almost a symbol of hope out of a symbol of despair. The stories are what resonate the most, and when, you, when we think about every day, these people's lives, the Levines, the Rogoshevskis, the Moors, all these different immigrants who actually lived in this building, what their lives were like, what they went through, it's actually quite moving to be here. And for us, it's not just so much preserving an old relic or an old building, but it's really making sure that these stories live on and that they don't, people don't forget about these families. When you step in through the door, you're really experiencing history in a palpable state. You're really walking into a time capsule. These are folks like you and I who, um, who come to this country, and let's not forget that everybody's an immigrant in this country, um, and built lives here, you know, and they built lives for themselves, for their children, they built the industries that became into being in this country, um, and that's for me what's most moving about this building. The Tenement Museum is open seven days a week except for Thanksgiving, Christmas, and New Year's Day. You can visit the museum online at www.tenement.org. Visitors are encouraged to buy their tickets ahead of time online. Thanks to David, Daria, and Sarah for showing us this amazing building and for sharing such incredible stories. From 97 Orchard Street on the Lower East Side, I'm Tara Petrolino for On the Beat.